And developing tonight, frustration and concern in a northeast side neighborhood after three shootings in just five days, all of them within a half mile radius. The latest happened today when someone shot a woman near 30th and Stewart Streets. And before that, on Monday and Thursday, two men killed in that same area. Our Emily Longnecker spoke to the family of one of the people who died and has a look at why neighbors say it's so hard to catch their killers. would have been Martez Coe's 33rd birthday. Happy birthday to you. Coe's family and friends gathered at this east side park to release balloons in his memory. The vigil just four days after someone shot and killed the father near 28th in Sherman. It has to stop. It's just, it's just, it's too much. And they're taking these fathers, good fathers, from their children. Brittany Vaden shares a three-year-old daughter with Co and has tried to explain to her child why daddy's not here. She got her iPad and called him. He didn't answer. I said, remember daddy's in heaven, baby. She thought that we were coming to him. Just days after Co's death, someone shot and killed a 46-year-old man a few blocks away on Stewart Street. I questioned myself, you know, what, what, was he trying to come into my house? This neighbor didn't want his face on camera or to give his name. That's because the second victim died in his front yard. I didn't know until somebody knocked on the door. Friday morning, he heard more gunshots. The next thing I know, you know what I'm saying, he comes to the ambulance and all that stuff, you know what I'm saying. Then I find out who the lady was, and then I'm like, oh, man, really? So I know her. The 60-year-old isn't hopeful anyone who knows anything about the shootings will come forward. They don't want to get involved. You know, you never know what's going to happen. You mind your own business and, and stay in your lane, you know. But police say they need people to help them and tell them what's going on if they have information about these shootings. So far, there have been no arrests in any of these cases. John 